Ah, uh, we've entered a new level of ridiculous. Hi friends, Steve Dangle here, and welcome to another edition of Steve's Dang It's. I guess we'll be more careful with this week's edition of Steve's Dang It's, because last week's edition of Steve's Dang It's is now age-restricted on YouTube. Yep, you have to be 18 years or older to watch last week's edition of Steve's Dang It's. Why, might you ask? Because we showed footage of Brendan Lemieux biting Brady Kachuk, which is the thing he did at least once, and only once if you ask the NHL, but we know it was more than once because we have brains. That was the second longest suspension of the season. So gruesome that we can't show it to anybody under 18. No, I'm not kidding, but I wish I was. On this week's edition of Steve's Dang It's, let me just check, ah, okay, no one gets bitten, so I think we can safely proceed. First and foremost, are you hungry? Oh, oh you are. Well, here's a turnover. Omar, in the eye of the net, checked by Kulak. Center right pass, turned over, Maroon scores! Pat Maroon takes a gift and buries it behind Jake Allen, and it's 1-0 Lightning. Well, a couple of guys were in unfamiliar positions, but Corey Perry doing a really good job. He was covering up on the point. He'll get the puck around the wall, but look at Belmar release. That was the key to that play. He released from the front of the net and kept the play alive. That trapped two Montreal players in behind the net. And then, of course, a fan on the play there by Clegg handed it right to Maroon. The spin around is a really tough shot for the goaltender, Jake Allen. You can see what Allen wants to do. He wants to protect that near side post, probably expecting him to try to turn around and shoot it upstairs. Oh, dear. What do you always want to do at a new job? You, you want to make a good first impression. Kale Clegg shows up after getting claimed off waivers by the Montreal Canadiens, and he starts pretty well. Has a good few shifts. I heard he brought donuts before the game. I didn't actually hear that. Oh, ah! You can bite donuts! Uh, delete that! And it was all going so well until, oh, dear. It's okay. It's not like the giveaway led to a goal against a team that beat the team that you just joined in the Stanley Cup final a few months ago. Oh dear. Oh heavens. That's a dang it. For our next dang it, a ref, get out of the way! Injury for a couple of weeks, Chris. Boy, Felino's been great on a line here with Erickson. At the Greenway, they score! On cue, it's Marcus Felino. Well, a couple of interesting bounces here. A clearing attempt that gets blocked right here by T.J. Brody. But watch this shot gets deflected but goes right off John McIsaac. That one should end up in the corner and safely out of harm's way. And the reaction time for Jack Campbell isn't quite there. He's thinking it's going to be safe. Now he's got to shuffle back. And credit Felino right on the doorstep. Read that play perfectly. You can never really anticipate it hitting an official like that, but he bounced on it quickly. Oh, way to go! Nah, nah, see, th this is how they throw you off the scent. I know what you think you saw here is a ref getting in the way of a cleared puck that knocks it down right in front of the Toronto Maple Leafs net, leading to a goal scored against the Toronto Maple Leafs. I know that's what you think you saw. And that is what you saw, but you didn't see it the way you were supposed to. Because remember, the league is rigged in the Leafs' favor. The team that hasn't won in over half a century. It is rigged in their favor. Every video review comes from where? Toronto. And every now and then, they just sprinkle in a ref straight up giving an assist to the other team just to throw you off the scent. Oh, we're on to you, zebras. But. That's a dang it. For our next dang it, I, I don't even know. I think this one's kind of cute. The announcer got so excited to announce that there was only one minute left to play that uh, they were early. With COVID, I've seen Darlene at quite some time. And it takes defense. With COVID, I've seen Darlene at quite some time. And it takes defense. No! <laughs> I love that because you gotta take in a bunch of air and you gotta have your big in arena announcer voice. But what are the odds that you're gonna come this close and get cut off? Producer Drew found that and he threw it up on Twitter immediately and it was noticed by H. Wade Minter, who was actually the guy who said it. And by the guy who said it, I mean the arena PA voice of the Carolina Hurricanes. As in, when the Carolina Hurricanes win the cup, David Ayers will be passing it to him. Even though it's cute. Sorry, dude. That's dang it. Speaking of things that producer Drew caught, uh, Darcy Kemper is the goalie for the Colorado Avalanche. Sometimes, sometimes he's the goalie for the Avalanche. He's usually the goalie for the Avalanche when he's picked to start a game and also when his equipment stays on his body. You might remember we featured him in Dang It's a couple weeks ago. He got three broken skates in a week. And this time, his pad won't attach to his- Heading back. 
Jones. Landis Gog almost had a breakaway. Here's Lafreniere moving in. In the middle. He scores. Kemper getting some equipment checked out in front of the Colorado bench. Nice pass from Alexi Lafreniere. Learn a lot playing against a team like this. Mm. And so. With 8 to go. And. Yeah. Can't fix it in time. Kemper's going off. It's a hilarious visual, and the picture made its way around Hockey Twitter, and Hockey Twitter had a field day. Like, oh, this is what goalies look like under their shell. Boneless, skinless goalie. You know what it looks like? Have you ever taken a pet for surgery, and they gotta shave exactly one leg? Ah, Darcy. You know what? When all the equipment stays on, I think he's gonna be great. But dude, again? That's a dang it. For our next dang it, you might think you're watching a game where the Tampa Bay Lightning are up 1-0 on the Boston Bruins, but in this clip, the Bruins score, tying the game at 2-0. What? Victor Hedman strides, hits Sorelli. Palat closes, the slap pass off of Nosek and past Swayman. Lucky bounces are all going Tampa Bay's way. Well, this will challenge the Boston Bruins and their stick to because you're right, Jack. I mean, they outshot Tampa by a two to one ratio in the first period, had the better opportunities. They were down one nothing on the shorthanded goal. They get a couple of great opportunities. Carlo, the second one, Pasenak, the first one, both Catching the post, Pasenak's just a clean- This is happening all the time. It feels like half the goals in the NHL this season have been kicked in. Whether by the offensive team or defensive, it doesn't matter. Thomas Nosek thinking by flattening his skate, ah, I'm gonna cut off the pass. That's just instinct taking over. Oh, you know that the puck is made of rubber, but do your instincts. Sure enough, instead of cutting off the pass, he sent a shot, flying it at a thousand miles an hour, past Jeremy Swayman, and in, oh boy. That's a dang. For our next dang it, uh, I, I can't believe that I have to say this every single week. What do I always say? If you're a goaltender, actually, actually no, maybe, maybe you should have played the puck in this situation. Canucks one for three on the power play now, still leading two nothing as Chase on tips the puck into the LA zone. Steal, Lamico shoots and scores. First as a Canuck in his return to the lineup under his new coach off a terrible turnover and it's 3-0. Erasmus Kapari should get an assist on this one. Kapari just throws it in the middle and Lamico who had a post earlier just inside the far post on this one. Yeah, like, you, you see? Yeah, no, no, I can't even hang that on the goalie. I can't hang it on the Kings defense either. I can't hang it on Doughty. I mean, there's no danger there. That's why the goalie didn't leave the net. Doughty takes it, he gives it to Kupari, who gives it to the other team! And props to Lamico for just asking no questions, spinning and firing, understanding, listen, the Canucks have had a tough year, I'm just gonna shoot it, and he was right. But for Kupari, buddy. That's a dang it. The Kings have been a lot of colors, but they've never been blue and green. I, I don't get it. And for our final dang it, Drew in the instructions just put, say the line, Bart. I'm sure you all know what the line is. So before I even show you, and before I even say what the line is, I have to ask a question. One, did my voice just crack? I'm an adult. Two, I used to make fun of the New Jersey Devils for being the team that we always, always, always featured, not only in these videos, but in this context. But I gotta tell you, to the Philadelphia Flyers, and to Carter Hart specifically, I'm getting very tired of this conversation, young man. If you're a goaltender, tend the goal! They got it past Atkinson. Joseph first toward the puck, so out comes Hart, but he plays it right to Joseph, who's shot, winds up in the net, they score. Matthew Joseph will get the shorthanded goal, it's 5-0 Tampa Bay. And Elaine Vigneault is going to make a goaltending change here. Carter Hart with the right idea to come out to get the puck, but then he banked it right into Matthew Joseph, who quickly spun and just kind of whacked the puck towards the net. It eluded Carter Hart as he was scrambling to get back in the net. And 
Joseph has the fifth goal for the Lightning here. There it is off the body, just quickly spins and taps it back towards the net. And Joseph, good effort up the ice here, backs away, takes that puck and then just chips it. Goes on its edge, rolls off the inside of the post and goes in. Like, what, what a nightmare! It's hilarious, the clip starts with the Flyers, who are down 4 nothing and on the power play though, at least they're on the power play, chasing the puck back into their own end and you can hear a trickling of boos in Philadelphia. The slight boos very quickly turn into alarm and then much louder boos! Carter Hart comes all the way out of his net to play it, gives it right to Matthew Joseph of the Tampa Bay Lightning and I, I just gotta say it, Matthew Joseph with the worst backhander of all time and it still goes in! Seriously, if you had a contest at intermission with a fan, like one of those center ice things, they'd have a better shot than that! And Carter Hart was so out of place that that shot beat an NHL goaltender. Or at least the net that the goaltender was supposed to be tending! The nightmare continues for the Philadelphia Flyers. My goodness, that's a dang it. So, what did you think of this week's edition of Steve's Dang It's? Was there enough biting in this one? No, just the right amount. Okay, just making sure to want to get demonetized! I gotta pay bills! As a child, Chris Draper visited my grade two class after Claude Lemieux hit him from behind. As an adult, Claude Lemieux's kid, Brendan, cost me actual money! That's a dang it. So, that is it for this week's edition of Steve's Dang It's. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you liked this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends! Especially if they're named Carter. I don't want to have to have this conversation again. Oh, and Darcy, keep your clothes on.